Sarah Palin has taken a lot of flack for her language, most recently for using refudiate. They have power in their words. They could refudiate what it is that this group is saying. Then saying she coined the word deliberately and comparing herself to Shakespeare. These political slips and errors aren't half as interesting as the way people react to them. The markets are starting to question themselves. The bloggers exposing our blisters. The most revealing thing about politicians' linguistic gaffes and malaprops is the weird reactions. We look beyond our next meal, our next post. Everybody was talking about it and tweeting about it and coming up with variations, and it became this internet meme that uh, got all over the place, traveling virally. political slips and errors aren't half as interesting as the way people react to them. There's a lot of rage about uh, some of these uh, usage issues. The weird reactions. Weird reactions. Everybody was talking about it and tweeting about it. And plenty of other people have gotten those same wires crossed before. Our present need is not heroic, but healing. Not nostrum, but normal. Sometimes you, um, misunderestimated me. There's something about August going into September where everybody in Washington gets all wee-weed up. I never heard that word before I moved to Springfield. I don't know why. It's a perfectly cromulent word. Sarah Palin has taken a lot of flack for her language. It's like the Eskimo Don King. She makes up words. <laughs> it's like... A lot of flack for her language. insolence of imagining that faulty usage portrays stupidity in It's a form of smugness that transcends partisan lines. And it's a mistake to read too much significance into these slips. It's a mistake. It's a mistake. It's a mistake.